Hi, this is Dr. D.M. Karthik, Medical Officer of Narayana Urban Health and Training Centre, Saraswati Nagar. Today, I am here to speak a few words about World Rabbit Day. World Rabbit Day is observed every year on 28th September and the theme of this year World Rabbit Day is Rabbit's One Health and Zero Death, which emphasizes and highlights about the connection of environment with both animals and people. One Health means implementation of rabies control program in collaboration with other sectors to achieve One Health against rabies. Zero Death is a global strategic plan to achieve Zero Deaths by 2030. Rabies is a viral disease and it is a zoonotic disease. Viral disease because it is caused by the virus called Lisa virus type 1 which affects the central nervous system. Zoonotic disease because it is transmitted by the bites or the licks of the rabid animals mostly dogs and it can also be transmitted by cats, wolves, etc. Rabies in human is a dead end infection which usually means immediately after the animal bite if it is not treated with on time death occurs almost in every case and there is no specific treatment for rabies. Now we will see about the management of dog bite. Immediately after the dog bite one should not panic. We have to follow certain steps immediately before we reach the nearest health facility. The step one is local treatment. How do we do the local treatment? Immediately after the dog bite one should place the wound under the running water for at least 15 minutes. Placing the wound under the running water for at least 15 minutes removes the virus for about 80%. This should be done for at least 15 minutes. This is a very primary important step in the dog bite. Next is about the suturing. Suturing should be avoided as far as possible. If the suturing is needed, then it must be planned 24 to 48 hours after the primary management of the wound and it must be done under the cover of rabies immunoglobulin. Along with the local treatment and chemical treatment, antibiotics and TT may be advised in some cases. Now it is about the vaccination for rabies. Vaccination for rabies is also an important step and one must know what are the different methods of vaccination and what are the different routes of vaccination how the rabies vaccination is given. In general rabies vaccination is given by two routes. One is intramuscular route and other one is intradermal route. Based on the routes and also based on the doses the vaccination is given on a fixed days in the intervals of four to five visits. Now it is about the responsibility of the public. Responsibility not only lies on the health sector but it also lies on the general public. The general public have to know certain things about the vaccination. Mainly the veterinarians who are most commonly encountered with the pets have to get their vaccination on the regular doses and in the regular intervals. Even after they have taken the vaccination if they have met with a dog bite they have to take the post exposure prophylaxis. Next, pet lovers. Everyone loves dog. But what is the prime responsibility of the pet lover is he must get vaccinated and also he must get the dog vaccinated on time and regular deworming of the dog is also very essential for also the health of the dog and also health of the public and also health of the total environment. Finally, I would like to say avoid dog bite. If it happens, know what to do. Don't panic. Namaste.